Hello, M3FJZ here with more Max SSB work. Okay, I've completed constructing the balanced modulator product detector, module 180. Okay, and to test it, I have uh, tack soldered it into the uh, existing RF deck I have here from an earlier rig. I believe it's the ZX SSB2. And it takes the place of the original balanced modulator product detector, which is right here, center of your screen. Okay, the uh, the goal of uh, adjusting the balance modulator is to uh, suppress the carrier as much as possible. And what I have on this module, I have the uh, two controls, a potentiometer which adjusts the, uh, I call it the DC offset, and then there's a variable capacitor here which adjusts the AC balance. And there's also a relay. The re what the relay does here is unbalances the uh, diode ring bridge here. And here are the four diodes here to make up the bridge. And when you do that it allows the carrier to go through and you can use uh, an antenna tuner or some other means of uh, adjusting your antenna. In my case, I have a uh, link coupled balance transmatch. And the relay unba unbalancing the bridge, uh, the diode ma ring mixer, it causes a uh, continuous wave to be emitted from the, uh, from the low pass filter. Okay, and for this setup, I'll be uh, I'll be showing you a scope trace, but what what I'll actually be doing here on the board is adjusting this potentiometer and this capacitor to give me the least amount of carrier out as possible. Okay, here's the scope trace. I also have my uh, FFT spectrum display also running. That's that white line you see at the bottom of the screen. And what I'm going to do here is without any audio uh, into the balance modulator, I'm going to put it in transmit. And you can see there's the carrier. The bridge is, or the balance modulator is not yet, ba is not yet balanced. So I'm going to be adjusting the potentiometer and the capacitor to get that as close to zero as I can. And this is the potentiometer going back and forth. That seems to be the lowest at that point. And then we go to the capacitor, the variable capacitor, and we adjust that. Try to get that as low as possible when you go back and forth. Getting closer. And just to show you, I'm going to release the transmit push to talk button. And you can see there's a there's like a baseline noise figure that's going on here. So that is not from the balance modulator. 
there we go the transmitter is back on continuing to adjust the potentiometer and the capacitor okay let me adjust the scope here so I'm seeing more of the uh, Carrier. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the balance modulator into tune mode, and what it does is it unbalances the bridge, and it's outputting a sine wave. Okay, here I've centered the. Uh, the spectrum analyzer functions so that the carrier is at the center of the screen and the very top of it is at a is at the uh, grid marker one from the top just to make it clear and right now I have the balance modulator in the unbalanced tune mode so that should be the maximum carrier out right, put it back into normal operate mode You see the uh, the carrier drop down, and here I'll go back and fine tune the capacitor and the potentiometer. Try to get that peak as low as possible. Here's the capacitor action. And right now back to the potentiometer. Keep going back and forth. Try to get that peak as low as possible. Here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 dB down. I'm going to stop there. It's pretty good. And here's with it unbalanced. And here's with it balanced, with the carrier suppressed. Put a little audio into it. Test, test, test. One, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. N three FJZ testing. And this is into a dummy load. And this is measuring the output of the bandpass filter. I don't have a driver or PA connected. I'm coming right off the bandpass filter for this test. And turn the mic gain all the way down to zero. And we see our carrier dropping down below. Okay, now I'm in receive mode. So the balance modulator product detector is working as a product detector, in which case there are no adjustments that I'll be doing on it for this, for the receive. Uh, the transmit adjustments are sufficient to get it where it needs to be. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, because you'd have to release the guy points to there, then raise it up, and they're not they're not light, they're very heavy. And you're hanging off, in my case, it'll be 50, 100, 150, and 190, where this one's at 50, 100, and 160. So the new one is going to one. Yeah, that's good. God, I get cold sweats just thinking about it. That's tough. That's worse than uh, arriving in heaven and finding the witnesses against your entry to heaven. Okay, so to my ear, this is a successful test. And it sounds good. Sounds as good as the other, the original product detector. So I want to call this one a success. Talking to my wife. Okay. I got the original product detector balance modulator back in the circuit. 
And it sounds just like the new one, so. Where is Joe? Oh, negative. And here's a uh, close up look of the module 180 out of the circuit. Okay, to see the schematic and layout on my website, just do a search on my call sign, and you should find this one here, the Circuit 6040 Homebrew Ham Radio, and you'll see the, the Max SSB transceiver. Click on that, and then over here we have Module 180 product detector, balance modulator. You click on that, you'll get the uh, schematic. And the layout that I used. And if you look closer to schematic here, you'll see here's the uh, variable capacitor I was adjusting to to suppress the carrier and over here is the potentiometer and then here's the relay grounding a leg of the bridge to unbalance it and that's when the carrier flows completely through to the output so I hope this uh, video was helpful in some way and it's uh, a module that is going to be used in what I'm calling the, the Max SSB transceiver. And of course, Max stands for Modular Amateur Experimental, where the E is or the experimental X in the name. 7-3, everyone. Keep homebrewing and uh, wait for my video on the next module. 7-3.